In conventional twin-engine aircraft, loss of power on one engine can lead to a loss of directional control and an accident if there's insufficient height above the ground to recover. Accidents as a result of engine malfunctions in twin-engine aircraft are rare, but often can be fatal. Training to manage one engine in operative flight is important, but it should not introduce unnecessary risks. On the 11th of April 2024, a flight instructor and a student pilot were conducting an IFR training flight in a Beechcraft E-55 Baron, operated by FlyOz. After departing Cowra Airport in the central west of New South Wales, the flight crew conducted instrument approaches to Goulburn and Canberra airports before returning to Cowra to practice an instrument approach to runway 15. During the approach, the instructor simulated a failure of the left engine by moving the mixture lever to the idle cutoff position, stopping the engine. The student continued the approach with the left engine inoperative and without zero thrust set or the propeller feathered. While inbound, the flight crew discontinued the approach and joined the circuit for runway 33. During the landing flare, the instructor initiated a go-around. The aircraft rapidly yawed and rolled to the left, impacting the ground in an almost vertical nose-down attitude before coming to rest inverted. The flight crew sustained minor injuries and the aircraft was substantially damaged. The investigation found the instructor likely did not return the mixture lever to Rich and ensured the engine was restarted and available for instant use. As a result, the instructor initiated a go-around below the minimum control speed, unaware the left engine was inoperative, resulting in an asymmetric loss of control and collision with terrain. Using the throttle to simulate an engine failure ensures the engine is available for immediate use, whereas use of mixture and stopping the engine will increase the risk of asymmetric operation that's undetected during descent and landing and an associated loss of control. Aircraft manufacturer procedures for one engine in operative training should be followed. And in this case, the manufacturer required the throttle be used to simulate an engine failure. CASA guidance also recommended use of the throttle rather than the mixture to simulate an engine failure when at low level, such as during asymmetric instrument approaches. This is to ensure power can quickly be restored if needed. The low height at which the loss of control commenced, estimated to be about 20 feet above the runway, and the crashing of the aircraft structure on impact contributed to the accident's survivability. The impact forces exceeded the certification requirements of the seats, which detached from their rails, but the flight crew were initially restrained by four-point harnesses. Despite disruption to the wing leading edge and fuel slowly leaking post-impact, there was no explosive fuel air misting or post-impact fire. We also found that the operator's asymmetric training procedure involved failing one engine using the mixture control without confirmation the engine was subsequently restarted, rather than reducing throttle to simulate zero thrust in accordance with the Beechcraft E55 flight manual. Following the accident, FlyOz took a number of proactive safety actions, in particular amending their multi-engine training to simulate engine failures only using throttle at any height. You can read the final report on the ATSB's website by searching AO-2024-011 or from the link in the description below.